Hello fellow, Hello fellow humans. You guys have spoken. In my video where I reviewed the visual simulations done by the artist Loka, the top next recommendation to review next was some guy named Symmetric Vision. Now, I've known of Symmetric Vision for a while. I talked to this guy way back. He actually did a visual replication using my face, which looked pretty darn cool. Now these, I believe, are two of the biggest names in the psychedelic replication field. What they pride themselves in being able to do is to, well, essentially replicate what you see on a psychedelic delic as accurately as possible. And this, I believe they have made their life's mission. So these guys are pretty darn good. So what we're going to do in today's video, just like with the last replication video is I'm going to go through his library. It looks like he's got a ton of videos here and we are going to review some of the, I believe DMT replications, because I think that is what he is best known for. Now I'm going to interject here and there with my um, analysis of whether or not this is accurate. Now keep in mind, something like DMT is astronomically challenging to accurately replicate. Not only is it going to look different for everybody who experiences this mythical compound, but because you're taking something that happens in 3D space, well, it's almost 4D. Like it takes you out of the 3D dimension into four dimensions or more. It is impossible to accurately depict what this is going to look like. But then when you add to that, the fact that most people can't even remember with their human brains what they saw, and it's more like as they come back, they're trying to reinterpret now with their human mind what they saw while they were exited out of their body and which they viewed through a totally different lens that wasn't even the, the, themselves anymore. It's like there are so many factors in play making this so freaking challenging to accurately replicate. But regardless, there are some certain feelings, energies, color patterns, or geometries that seem to be prevalent for most individuals who experience these substances that people like Symmetric Vision have attempted to, you know, nail. And I'm sure also the sound and just the overall feeling that you're going to get is I think what they're also trying to accomplish, accomplish here. Um, but keep in mind that any replication is a far shot away from being able to accurately depict what these things actually are like because a huge component of the experience isn't what you're seeing, it's what you're feeling. Yeah. And you cannot replicate a feeling just based off, you know, visuals. I mean, with the music and the visuals, you can kind of give someone an idea of like the awe and the excitement, but that feeling like you're facing your death or you're getting sucked out of a wormhole at light speed is something that is impossible to do with the 2D image. Now I see he's done some 3D VR ones, which I mean is kind of getting a little bit closer. But again, just to be clear, nothing is ever going to come close to the real thing and it's all so subjective and everyone experiences slightly different things. I'm just repeating myself now. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive right into Symmetric Visions. Oh, the sound is really good. Anything that has like stuff happening in the foreground and background, I'm really vibing with. Yeah, this is so subtle, but it's like you know some shit is happening. Yep, this is like when the effects start to intensify and you're like, holy shit, what I'm looking at. It's like hard to actually explain what the friggin' hell I'm watching, but like you know something weird is going on. It's almost got like an eerie feeling to it. Now just judging by his most viewed, which isn't always an indication of the best ones, Memory from a Dead Man's Trip, DMT Visual Experiment Seizure Warning. Oh boy. So if any of you guys are prone to seizures, you should probably click off this baby now. Oh, he's got the clouds. Um. To be completely frank with you, so far this looks nothing like DMT to me. <laughs> nothing. I'm not trying to be rude. I just gotta be upfront here. Maybe a high dose of acid or mushrooms. But to me, DMT does not do these types of patterns whatsoever. The sound is, 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 is pretty good though, that, that rising high-pitched squealing noise that changes octaves, that's pretty good. This, this effect there, yeah, it kind of feels like, you know, your perspective is just deepening and you're getting pulled into something. 
but, but the way he's depicted here is more of a gradual shift into overwhelming geometry. It's more like a wormhole that just goes... I like this octagonal shape. Those like frog sounding noises though, never got that. Now you can see it almost looks like there's a face forming out of this geometry. That I can attest to. You often start making out faces. And this, this fractal zoom, yep. But how everything's looking like snakes interwoven into each other, and how there's like a lack of defined edges, is something that I don't get. For me, things... No, no, you know what? Yeah, yeah no, I'm gonna contradict myself here. Kind of, kind of. I just feel it's more mathematical looking. Like, it almost looks perfectly symmetrical. This is a little too randomized. Too much stuff is overlapping each other. Here we go, Indra's net looking type thing. Oh, the ant. The ant god. He's showing you his gaping vortex in the middle of his abdomen. Maybe it's his butthole. Travel into my butthole, human. There are mysterious wonders awaiting you in here. And you're back. All right, overall, out of 10, for accuracy, maybe like a three. Over Out of 10, for um, effort, I mean, nine out of 10. He put a lot of good effort into that. And he's probably gonna hate on me if he watches this review, but again, I have to be honest. And when it comes to DMT, I don't know if there's, just so that I'm not singling him out, he does great replications, but DMT is the hardest to master. And I could just be being extremely hard on this, but, yeah, it just, it really didn't do it for me. Um, clearly, I'm alone here because 2.4 million views and I'm sure a lot of people, like, let's see, um, don't you just hate it when you're exploring the countryside and an extra-dimensional being takes you on a kaleidoscope adventure? <laughs> this is what people who never smoked weed think it's like. Oh, that's a good one. Um, back when I hadn't tried DMT, I used to watch these visuals and think about how dramatic these are and how impossible and irrational it was for someone to see these visuals. Now, after trying DMT, this is one of the most accurate videos I've watched. See, look! Look, and loop, and loops loves it. I, I guess I'm alone. Um, it was cool. It was honestly a cool attempt, but yeah, it doesn't do it for me. Not that one. Let's let's check out another one of his videos. Let's see what else he's got here. All right, here we go. Psychedelic replication compilation. Wow, 50 minutes. So let's play guess the psychedelic. Oh, this guy's like a high dose of a hippie flip. The subtle, slow breathing and wavy motion. Oh God, the music. I like the subtleness of it here. Um, yeah, when you're on a high dose, things are moving pretty slow like this. Oh, there we go. Oh God. This is like one milligram of acid. <laughs> is this accurate? No, not really. Come on, he's done some really good stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. This this super enhanced visual acuity effect. This is very LSD esque. This um this is looking good. I love the bird. Oh no, he didn't do Joe Rogan. They're the apples. This is what I came here for. Or are they oranges? I think they're oranges. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, we, let's find one that, that just makes me go, this is it. He got it. He nailed it. I know he's got some really good stuff. Let's find one 
that he nails. Oh, this is cool. Oh, rugs. Come on, rugs are the best. Does this depict acid? Mm, no, not. Not really. I think he's got some neat artistic talent and, and I like what he's doing. I definitely like what he's doing. But I think from what I could see so far, Loka really nailed it. Just Loka's just looked a little bit more accurate than some of his stuff. Oh, let's do this. This is the one. This forest walkthrough. That was pretty cool. Oh god, this one looks trippy. Oh, I like this effect. I think this is my favorite one so far. I couldn't tell you what psychedelic this is, but um... If you ever start seeing stuff that looks this intense, holy shit, you know you're in for a darn ride. Yeah, this one's really neat. I love the creativity of some of these effects that he's got. Like, I don't know how he came up with this. I love the way, like, how sometimes in the front moves and the foreground moves, and it's kind of like balancing itself itself out. Ooh. It makes me feel nauseous just looking at this. Oh, and the sound. The sound is pretty good. That synth sounding noise. It's like a phaser. Yeah. Yeah, this one's freaky, man. All right. All right. So he's got some good stuff. I feel bad that I didn't like the DMT replication, but honestly, that was that was really accurate of like a high dose on psychedelics. Yeah, I think I'm just not a fan of these like really intense snake-like things. And it could just be because I have not personally seen stuff like that. Let's check out this rock one. Oh, this one's good too. Okay. Yep. It's got some good accuracy here. Again, it's really hard for me to say what psychedelic exactly this reminds me of. I, I can't put my finger on it, but I have definitely seen shit like this. This one is really good. It's your new favorite, The Rocks. He's really got these, the weird... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? The way that things morph in, in almost like a balanced but unbalanced way. He's really got that down. As I'm watching this, it's like, am I seeing faces forming? What am I looking at? You just don't know. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, some of this shit freaks me out. That one made me uncomfortable to watch. Okay, I think we've done enough. All right, again, I feel bad for not liking the DMT simulation, but stuff like these, the, the rocks and the trees, he's really nailed the psychedelic effect there. So if you guys want to check him out, I highly recommend everyone subscribe to Symmetric Vision. As you can see, the newer ones we've watching, it looks like he's getting better. It looks like all these guides are constantly improving their skill set in doing this. So yeah, subscribe to Symmetric Vision. Link below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Head on over to psychsubstance.shop to pick up your very own hooded trip blanket. If you like these videos, subscribe to our Patreon where we... Um, show uncut content, and if you like the video, thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know below what psychedelic replication artist you'd like me to, um, you know, do an overview of next. Till next time, take care, guys.